I can't even describe it. It felt like all my hard work over the past eight years has paid off. Being a champion and representing your country is something that took years for Amaya and Osa to do. And some may say she was born to do it. Wrestling is kind of big for our family. I wrestled from middle school into high school. My wife wrestled down in Texas. She moved up here and she actually wrestled for Sierra High School. And we actually met through wrestling in high school. Amaya never let being a girl in a male-dominated sport stop her. In fact, it only enhanced her performance. They made me a lot better wrestling with boys because they're stronger and everything. And then going against girls, it was easy. Early on, we could see she kind of had a niche for it, that she really was into it and had something going. We made sure to hit as many tournaments as we can growing up. Trying to qualify for the Pan American Games, Amaya went through some challenges. But after overcoming them, her father knew she was ready to take on the world. She had a close match um, with a girl from California where she was actually losing with 10 seconds left and she got a big throw to end up getting the match. And that was just something that I could tell she really wanted to do. And it was just a different look. I could see the growth in her going into those trials. And the games were more than just a tournament, but a chance to build connections. Just seeing like all the different countries and hearing all the dialects and seeing all the different ways that they wrestle and all the different styles, it was great. I would say one of my favorite parts was uh, part of the tournament, a lot of the kids were going around trading gear and interacting with all the other countries. That was probably one of the coolest things the kids